Hey there, when you travel to a beach vacation rental home, do not forget to pack these 23 items. These vacation items are going to save you space because they are very easy to pack. When you do travel to a beach vacation rental home, do not forget eye drops. My eyes get dry from air travel and it could be the sand or the chlorine that are drying out your eyes. For summer vacation travel, I like to pack three pairs of shorts and three tops that are going to mix and match with at least two of those shorts. Now, this royal blue top, I have kept it in my suitcase for like four days waiting to video this, but this royal blue top will go with white shorts. It will go with even navy shorts or a a red plaid short. Also, you can pack a dress or two. Um, I like to pack two or three t-shirts for exercising or for hanging out at night that will also go on top of my normal like solid shorts. I really, really am a big believer in wearing a t-shirt, like really relaxed t-shirt over a patterned short or as well as a solid, but I love it with nice patterned shorts. And then you can also pack like Merrill sandals like I did for um, possible rain if you're headed out somewhere for the day or at night to go eat. There are other shoes that you can go with for travel um, where it might rain. Uh, these are leather, I'll link them below, and these are kind of a suede type, and these are another neutral pair that are easily packable and can go with multiple colors. And then for the airplane, I wore a pair of nice gold sandals, and then I can also wear those to dress up a vacation type outfit while I'm there. Be sure to stick around to the end to find the number one easiest packing item for a beach rental home vacation. And be sure to click the little bell beside subscribe down below to give me a wriggling ling if you like this video. When we went to Hilton Head a couple of weeks ago, I knew that we were going to be riding bikes. It's such a great island, very bikeable, bike trails everywhere. So I had to bring my tennis shoes and I packed those in the opening part, this top part of my suitcase. And then I packed my beach flip-flops, the real flimsy ones, in the hidden section of my suitcase. So don't forget about that section of your suitcase. When you travel to a beach vacation rental home, don't forget to pack a hoodie because when you come in from being in the sun all day, the air conditioning after the shower might feel a little chilly and you wanna just cozy up and it will help you stay warm on the freezing cold airplanes during the summer. One of the best packing items for a vacation at a beach rental home is sandwich baggies and a gallon baggie. You can use that sandwich baggie for marinating chicken while you're there. You can use it to put chips and divvy it out in portion sizes to take to the beach one day. When we took sandwiches to the beach one day, we did use a gallon bag and it fit two big sandwiches in each gallon bag. You can even tear off a few long pieces of aluminum foil and then fold them over and over. Put one or three in every person's suitcase and there you go, easy to pack because it saves space. And if you are traveling with daughters, <laughs> a great travel hack that a, one of my friends and subscribers told me about is to use an ironing board as an extension of your counter space. You can put makeup bags and all that kind of stuff. And then a pilot told me, if you do that, be sure to put like a hand towel over the ironing board in case makeup gets on there and then another person goes to iron something and there is blush stain or something like that that's gonna get on their clothes. So be respectful of that. On our recent beach trip, I fell in love with these towels. My brother lives at the beach and he has lived at the beach for about seven years. I'd see why they are such an investment. They do not get sopping wet when you are laying on them, drying off with them, and they do not get sand in them. It just falls right off. It doesn't get in the bottom of your towel. So I came home and bought me one. Let me show you how they look beside each other. On Amazon and on their website, it says that they take up 78% less room and you can totally see how much less room or more space they will provide you in your suitcase when you go to the beach. 
When you travel to the beach, even for a day, sunscreen saves lives. Every morning, I would put this type, it's called Super Goop, of sunscreen on my face and my shoulders. When we would go for a bike ride or I would go exercise, it's kind of like a Vaseline feel. You can't even tell it's on. Like lotion, you know that it's on afterwards. Anyway, I'll link it below. They do sell three ounce tubes of Neutrogena and just pack you one of those to get your family through the first day so you don't have to go to the store first but use the tube of lotion sunscreen that first day and then when you get to the store at your vacation spot that's when you can go get the aerosol and the 70 spray and all that stuff when we traveled to costa rica my husband found this and it was made for the military it's sunsect I'll link it below on Amazon, of course. It's an insect repellent for um, army guys, military guys who will be outside with sunscreen in there. And if you use the link, make sure you get the two ounce tubes because they do uh, sell the much bigger ones. There is a smell to it that smells like insect repellent, but it's not that bad. Do not forget to pack lip balm when you go to a beach vacation. And if you're like me, I don't wear a lot of makeup when I'm on vacation. And then for my foundation, I use a Mary Kay CC cream. CC cream is um, like a tinted moisturizer, but that's my go-to one. Now, when you are at the beach location, if you rent chairs or you use chairs at the hotel pool, you may want to invest in little towel clips. I have these cheap cute ones from Amazon. They're parrots that I bought for a cruise that we went on. But my brother who lives at the beach, he has these metal ones and they are metal. They're pretty cheap. I think you get six for the set. And he has had these clips for about five years and they have worked fine. Notice if you are buying a beach chair before you go on your vacation, do not get the ones with the grommet and the thread to thread the seat back to the frame of the chair. Um, I just have a feeling that that grommet is going to rust after a while. And my brother has had these chairs for seven years, I believe, and they are still going strong. They have a cooler in the back like will, that will mainly keep your water bottles cool, water bottles cool. It's a padded kind of cooler. And then it also has a mesh pocket on the back for that he keeps his clips in. And then it also has a pillow and then it has even a rack for your towel to unfold a towel and hang that on if you need that. And then the little pockets on the arm of the chair, I don't think they're really necessary because phones have changed so much in their size and they're gonna have a lot of sand in them is what I found out. When you come in the rental home after being at the beach all day, my favorite lotion is a super thick Gold Bond for Diabetics lotion. And I um, transport it in these little containers. These are great space saving containers. These are this size and these are like this. These are a little squishy and these are not. Um, with thick lotions like this, you can put them in these kind of containers. This set with cute little colors also comes with this and it's a tiny little container. I'm not sure if you would put your moisturizer for a week in there, but it does have a little lip that fits on there that I found, you can even see the lotion in there still from my previous Florida trip. Anyway, um, those are options and I'll link both of these options below. Having a travel razor is great for when you go to the beach, but I recommend not using it when you first get there. Like, don't let the first time you use it be at the beach. Start shaving with it a few days before you go to the beach so your skin will not look irritated when you go down to the water. <laughs> It comes in a cute little case, but you do not have to travel with a case. Like I'm, I've never cut myself reaching into a pouch to get my razor. So I don't usually travel with the case. And I have to say that these earrings are the cutest beach earrings and they were under, I think $10. I'll link those below too. Polarized sunglasses are protective for your eyes. And I've had these for about two years. And this is my travel set that I have. I used to buy like my sunglasses from the dollar store, but being a midlife person, my eye doctor said that I already have cataracts and that we all do. They just don't show themselves until we're around 70. So polarized sunglasses, these are like 20 online and these are around 11, I think. 
think these are around 11. They look like the Risky Business style, you know, Tom Cruise. And these, I call these my uh, volleyball <laughs> sunglasses. If you are going to be doing a water active sport, like kayaking, stand up paddle boarding, or whitewater rafting, I do suggest a little strap like this. I believe this one does float, but they make some that float. So if your glasses fall off, you will be able to find them because the band floats. A travel hack for men traveling to the beach is when you need to pack your belt to curl it up and put it in the collar of one of the shirts that you're going to wear to a restaurant. Another must for me is a waterproof phone case and especially if you're doing a water activity. I have tested this and I will link it below. It is it does hang around your neck like this. I tested it last summer and I've used it this year and it does not leak whatsoever. It's also a great way to carry like your ID card if you're going on a cruise ship and you're going on a destination thing. Another simple packing item for the beach is a koozie from your house. You're going to be having water bottles, cans, drinks, even if you buy a drink in a cup at the pool from your cabana boy, you are still gonna benefit if you have that koozie to put it in. I like to pack eardrops when we are going to a beach vacation and I know the pool or the ocean water might be a little weird. A travel hack for this is that this little pointer thing pops off and you can just pour in a couple of tablespoons of your own alcohol from your cabinet. You don't need a full bottle, um, but it's just as easy to take if you can do that. If you know you're going to be living down by the water at the beach on your vacation, my brother lives at the beach and he has this tent canopy thing. It is so easy to put up. It has lasted for years and it collapses in the same way. And if you look at my pictures of the roof and around the frame of this tent, you can see all the Velcro and they use little spikes to put it in the sand. There are no ropes that you need to put it in the sand or anything like that. The container that the tent stays in has pockets for those spikes. Some of them roll, but it's affordable and it's about the same price as you would pay for one of those like half moon shaped ones. And they also make them with nets that come down if you have a baby that's crawling and you want kind of a boundary set up. Highly recommend this brand and I will link it below. And the easiest item that you can pack for your beach vacation is a trash bag from your grocery store. When you get down to the beach, just put a couple of handfuls of free beach sand in it tie it. It can weigh down the poles of your tent. It can weigh down the corners of some of your beach towels. A great free easy thing and it saves space in your suitcase because you're only taking the grocery bag. Have such a wonderful beach vacation. I would do it every week if I could. Thanks for visiting.